Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel for another First Amendment Exposé. If you like this video, please subscribe. It's a small click but with a big impact. Today I chose a video from James Freeman. In this video, James is attacked and pushed out of a police station. Alright, let's do this. Um, I was thrown out of the Brownfield, Texas Police Department lobby by a lieutenant. James Freeman was manhandled by a more muscular male from Texas. And since then, he has felt emasculated. James, is that a new video? This was actually three or four months ago. Oh. This is not new. Why did you hold on to it so long? The reason that I held on to it for so long mm -hmm. is because I wanted mm -hmm. this to be completely and totally resolved okay. before I released it so that you guys would have a, the full story. a uh, start to finish story. Yeah, exactly. Unfortunately, okay. uh, Brownfield's yeah. city attorney mm -hmm has completely ghosted us for three months. No. Are you saying that you sent a letter threatening them with a lawsuit if they didn't give you some money? Uh, it was probably three or four days later that CJ Grisham sent in an intent to sue. Okay. With, with a demand mm -hmm. for, you know, hey, give us this yeah. or we're going to sue. Yeah, and yeah. the demand was incredibly low. Yeah. I mean, the demand was dirt oh, cheap. Yeah. The demand yeah. letter, liter I mean, it, it. any any normal person would have looked at it and said, holy smokes, yeah. settle this now. Settle it now before they go to court. Like, this is so, so easy. So easy. Like, it was nothing because it wasn't about trying to get no. money out of them. Yeah, just fucking pay you, dumb city. I mean. And so finally, today, I said, forget it. Uh -huh. I'm just going to throw up the raw footage. All right. Before we watch the attack, give us some context. I think you were conducting this fake pretend investigation in Brownfield, Texas, a city of not even 10,000 souls, well known for its uh, cotton, peanuts, grapes and uh, sunflowers and a whopping 45 crimes a year so there's probably a lot of corruption there and you need some answer well you know what let me just in case let me go check out the police department yeah, of course. i need to do an open records request for something that happened there anyways yeah, yeah whatever uh i'll just i'll go in in person to do the open records request it's always the best so i go in and the records clerk had left early okay I hope she wasn't getting paid for those hours she was away. Taxpayer Steve. Taxpayer Steve. Government is so corrupted. So, anyway, what happened? So the dispatcher gives me some information so that I can do an open records request. Mm -hmm. And then this 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 uh -huh. barbaric, barbaric animal comes out. Oh my god. Yeah, you can tell he seems protective of his squad when a stranger shows up with his phone. Filming like that in a small town in Texas, it's not super usual for them, but I'm sure you remain calm and friendly. I told him, you know, hey, you know, I'm just trying to do my open records request and mm -hmm. um, I he said he says, "Oh, well you can't record over there in the public lobby." And so of course I said, "Yeah, you check. Over over here, you mean? Like this yeah. this is where I can't record?" Yeah. You just check, right? And he grabs me and physically throws me out of the building. Oh my god, this is too much. Uh, I have to see the video for myself, and we'll talk about it afterward. I have to see it. Hey, how's it going? Um, do you guys have uh, open records forms? Uh, yeah, she just left. Oh, really? I, I, okay. You normally close up at 5, huh? Okay. Yeah. Um, is there an email address that I can send them to? I don't know how to email. <clears throat> Maybe, is there a card right there? There might be some. No, that's, it's not a... Uh, can I help you? Uh, she's, I think she's getting me what I need. I was supposed to be doing an investigation out here today. Oh. But, oh, actually it was supposed to be yesterday, but I'm so late getting down here. An investigation for what? Um... 
It's well, it's it's an open investigation. Okay. So I don't on, on what um, on the uh, the city and the police department. Okay. Well, um, I can't have you film it in with sensitive area inside my dispatch room. Like like that? Yeah, or? yeah, exactly like that. So if you want to film officers or whatever when they're doing their job outside, as long as you keep a safe distance, I don't have a problem with that. But I can't have you coming in here because there's vital information in there filming. Like right there? Yeah, exactly. Like if right you there. touch me? Okay, sir, I'm going to have... You're going to leave. Do you understand me? Why? Because I just asked you to leave. You can't ask me to leave. Okay. Get your supervisor. Did, did he get it's a what, public lobby. Did he get what he hey, needed? It's a public lobby. Calm down. De-escalate. Put your hands Do down. Um, somewhat, it seems uh, like he knew you were just there to create some content for YouTube or steer some shit up, like I say sometimes. <laughs> Put your hands now. down. Okay, so I need to do an open records request. Put your hands okay, down. Well, Calm down. Open, De-escalate. Well, Stop me. yelling. Open records Don't be disorderly. Closed. Don't be disorderly. Uh, the cup is definitely rough on the edge, but... He is not yelling, he's calling you sir, and they have a policy of not filming to protect private information, which they can do, it's a non-public forum. Maybe if you didn't act like a pretentious dick and turn the camera twice in the wrong direction to steer some shit up and then yell over him, the cop might have remained calm. By state law, I can give an open records request to any okay, public employee at any time. Okay, and they are closed today, Monday through Friday, 8 to 5, it's okay. after 5. Okay, well I'm working with her. Okay, she's hey, done. Are we, is he done? Okay, is this supervisor here? I am the supervisor. Let's go. Don't touch me. Outside. Why are you pushing me? Get out. You got cameras in there? One more, you're going to jail. Don't jail? Yeah. So if I don't leave, I'll go to jail? You want to go? No, I don't want to go to jail. Okay. We can tell how you are under the shock here feeling probably emasculated because you were manhandled uh, by a man who was clearly a lot stronger than you. Uh, from what I see, he took you by the elbow and just direct you uh, to the door. Uh, but I know since you're a whiny little man baby, uh, as you know, who loves to play the victim, it was probably something a lot more impactful for you, which I understand. And then I think you call your lawyer right away. I'm in Brownsville, Texas, if I end up in jail. Uh, lieutenant just picked me up and fucking threw me at the door. Yeah, Brownsville, Texas police. I'm, I'm inside of the lobby trying to fill out an open records request. He comes in and tells me I can't film in the lobby. Fucking grabs me by the arm and throws me into the fucking door, dude. Shoves me out the door. Says, you want to go to jail? You fucking come in here again and you'll go to jail. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's fucking filmed. Ah, <laughs> of course it's fucking film, huh? It's essential, I mean, for a fraudulent, frivolous lawsuit like you, like you were probably planning to do. At that point... Neither me mm -hmm. nor CJ had any intent of suing. And I know most of you will look at this and go, well, why wouldn't you sue? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's not like you are uh, remotely shy about suing. Uh, you have this big one uh, lawsuit that has been going since uh, last year. But in this case, you, you didn't want to uh, sue. It is so much easier okay. for me to get a hundred thousand, even a quarter million dollar settlement. Easy. Easy. out of these people yeah. than it is to get accountability for the officer. Of course, he holds you by the elbow and slightly pushes you out because he doesn't want to play your game on a Friday at 5 p.m. And accountability for the officer means criminal charges. What he did is he physically attacked me. Yeah, he's a criminal. If any other human being had done that, they would be facing criminal charges for doing what they did. Uh... Well, I mean, I've been escorted out of uh, nightclubs, uh, a sporting even once, uh, and a Walmart. Uh, I'm not going to tell that story. But I didn't know it was a crime back then. And I think that if more cops were getting prosecuted mm -hmm. for committing crimes, I think that mm -hmm. they would yeah. at least think a little bit harder before getting caught committing crimes. Yeah, think twice, you know. I know what you mean. Uh, even if you can easily find numerous uh, lists of cops being convicted of manslaughter, of murder, of multiple other crimes. But I know that what you've been through is way worse than all those uh, pity crimes. Basically, you want to see him on one of those lists. What I want to see is criminal charges for this criminal cop. Mm -hmm. That's what I want to see. So now you guys know that's what I'm looking for out of this. Yeah. Criminal charges, I want him prosecuted, I want him convicted. 
mm, for uh, grabbing your elbow and taking you out of a place. Uh, you were done uh, with your business anyway. But, you know, between you and me, James, can you at least admit that you did provoke him a little, uh, knowing that maybe he would have reacted in a certain way? Maybe a bit of baiting. The fact is that a channel like this gets views okay. on videos where government acts inappropriately. Oh. And it doesn't get views on videos where the government acts appropriately. Ah. Mm, so clearly, uh, that gives a solid incentive to act provocatively, uh, to gain some views. Well, James, uh, thank you for this fake interview. It was surely interesting. I mean, you know, for what it is, I think you prove to everyone that you know, you're a liar. A fraud and also a bitch and uh, you're ready to throw anyone under the bus if they don't do exactly what you want or if they make you feel emasculated a little you got cameras in there All right, enough with this clown, my dear James. Thank you for stopping by, and like they say in the Philippines, in a more. Shout out to the members, you are like a Christmas gift every days of my life. Thanks for watching my video, please like, comment, and subscribe, and let's expose those clowns one at a time. Bye.